Of course, that was talking about the chest, but the things that go in the chest, let's talk about those as well. New skins. Now, I don't know how this is going to be delivered or how they're going to get it, but I do know what it is. It's, it's Barrick, and it's, it's not light Barrick. Stone cut? It's stone Barrick cut. Is stone cut. <laughs> yes. He is... He is a This a, is a big beast. Bear. Yeah. Um, no, super cool. I mean, Thomas, you can give a, the breakdown of it, but I totally dig this one. Yes. Uh, so Barrick is a, is a, one of our older champions. Uh, so we, we're hitting a couple of them in this patch. Uh, we wanted to make sure they got some love as well. Uh, and, mm. and this theme is just a strong theme. It's a, the dark dwarf kind mm. of like uh, feeling for it. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's got his overall color scheme going on and, and definitely a different kind of attitude than our, than our normal, like jolly little dwarf uh, of Barrick. Mm -hmm. um, he is but he's got like, too. yeah, yeah. He's got that stone skin and, yeah. and everything. Man, oh yeah, he, he looks good. So, so this is uh, just the skin. There's no weapon that is attached to this, no. or is it the weapon as well? Yeah. So this one okay. um, has the skin set, which includes uh, the uh, accessory. It includes the body, um, and then uh, he's rare, so he doesn't have a, a voice pack. Okay. Yep. Uh, but it also has a weapon, and so um, for this set. Very very cool stuff. So this yeah, you is you can uh, see some of the stone texture like coming in into the the weapon itself. That's yeah, it's right. Very awesome. eerie. Yeah, his turret's updated as well oh, to right. kind of match this yep. theme. So um, so yeah. This looks like a man with a dark past. I don't know. Barrick showing a little bit of his uh, things happen in the mines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously, yes. things you don't talk about happen in the mines. Well, we'll leave that to you, Barrick, and we'll move on to uh, something that Thomas, you've been actually I was about uh, to say if being you're... really shameless about. <laughs> you have been shameless, Thomas. Relentless. I know. And shameless. I mean, no. my God, I got to yell that a little if I bit. I see but... another panda gif my yeah. goodness yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you've been on my twitter at all you, you may know what's coming next it's yeah, uh it's our favorite vulpine he just got a map now he's getting the skin it is pip pandemonium yes and he's just amazing. Oh my <laughs> gosh, so what a cute. There's very little to say about this one. This is a, uh, it's a champion uh, skin set as well. So you get the accessory uh, and you get the body. There's not a weapon with this one. Uh, yeah. It's also rare. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, this is just one of those things that um, even early on when we were talking about skins for him and, and talking about like, you know, what to do, um, there's some, there's some pretty obvious choices and, and red panda um, kind of flavored uh, pip was, was one of those. And if it matches, it matches his personality and in a cool way, it also really separates himself when you see this one in game to me my, my overall experience is this really looks like a different experience of pip and he's, look at the rooster brewster right there that's actually yep. a great combo yeah that yeah. is he's a he's adorable oh man so, yeah. so cute tail lovers rejoice <laughs> yes <laughs> it's about as cute as he gets right there oh yeah pandemonium yep. pip coming to you in ob51 as well as dark Dwarf, excuse me, stone cut barrack. Yep. Yes. Uh, very, very exciting. These are the new skins uh, for the patch. Yeah, and they're uh, both direct purchase uh, Great. as well. So, um, so yeah, so uh, if you want them, go grab them. Rock out. There it is. I love it. So, moving on, we do have uh, n a new thing here coming up Uncommon tier. That's right. That's right. Yes. And, and now this is interesting. You know, there's a meme in the Paladins community of uh, Paladins uh, skins, right? That's right. I don't know if you've seen it, but what? with you. So wow. uh, when you yep. get to that point in your unlock, and and if you get that spray, um, as you go on from that point on, uh, it will always give you your most updated live number. So wow, uh, look, that oh. he's number twenty. Yep. Twenty <laughs> level mastery. That's oh crazy. my god. So so, so, yeah. so right now, uh, just for clarity, you are using the actual level ten obsidian mastery weapons and using the cosmic yeah. body, which you could see the hands yep. holding that. Our cameraman right. is switching it up. Uh, so this He's is fantastic. Matching. You get a little bit of both, but now you could see, oh, that's the emote right there. Shoots the coin out of the air. This is right. unbelievable. This hasn't happened in this game yet. So, I mean, oh, you're, no. you're talking about the new tech, Thomas. What was it just like, I think, concepting this? I want to bring up a, a very cool poll. We were trying to figure out what, what do we think is even the best version of these because they're both so good. Oh, it's it's tough. It's we went back and forth. We did a lot of different treatments and, and looked at a lot of stuff. Uh, eventually, we we kind of came to this kind of Starfield uh, kind of uh, it looks dynamic uh, material yeah. uh, kind of change for the characters, uh, which looks really good. Uh, we actually had like five different colors, and we kind of boiled that down wow. to the two. And it really like we ended up doing a poll basically just to even just find out internally if you know the Obsidian or the Cosmic would be the higher tier because they they're both awesome, and and especially when you see them on all the different champions. It's, it's amazing. Yep. Well, that's fantastic stuff. This is going to be available in OB51. You're asking who is going to be getting this. Is it only for Lex? My point. 
<laughs> that yes. she's like carrying around and firing. And so uh, it's it's a very like physical weapon uh, that feels really good, uh, but it was pretty complex. So this one had a, a lot of challenges, uh, both on the, the character art standpoint, but especially with the weapons team and, and working with VFX and with animation, uh, where you, you can get her carrying this you know giant weapon that it feels really good going through and then with her abilities. Oh yeah, it feels brutal. Siege machine. She's a mm -hmm. one person unit, right? She she basically will anchor the army of the magistrate and, and go for, you know, Ooh, take out a castle, magistrate. take out, you know, uh, an encampment. Um, and and, and kind of as you saw in her reveal trailer there, uh, she can single-handedly, like, anchor a point for a team. And it, yep. it, it looks like uh, she wants to just not... Um, oh. Oh. You can't mess with Lex like that, okay? <laughs> I know you tried it, but I don't get played that easily, y'all. But check it out, Ash. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This, this has got to be the Sass. first. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. Alyssa, just, you know, what, is, what's, what do you think about Ash? I think, you like the vibe? I think she's bad Ash, just like <laughs> you said. I love it. I think we don't have any other character that, that has this kind of feel, yeah. you know? Yeah, and that pulls this role, especially Garrett. Now, you know, talking from the design perspective and just a character, the pull Play. What is Ash meant to do? Thomas meant she's a siege machine for the magistrate, but what is she in terms of my team? She's, one, I, of our, she's one of our most brutal and dynamic front lines okay. that we have to date. Um, we can uh, kind of start off with her, her kit and her abilities. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's All talk right. about her weapon. So, first, as you can see, shot. there is this hulking, uh, hulking flat cannon, burst cannon device on screen. We can go ahead and fire some rounds. It shoots this projectile into space that detonates at medium range in a very large kind of flak burst of AoE. Um, about tank level DPS, as you would expect. Uh, great, easy to confirm damage, fairly consistent. Mm. Uh, eight or nine rounds in, in the clip, but definitely powerful feeling that reload is goom, goom. It's great. I love it. Um, the, the sound effects are amazing on this, by the way. Shout out to, I mean, our whole yeah. crew and the sound effects. Because I can't hear them. Can, you, can no, stream you, hear you these You can't right hear these right now. Oh, we don't no. have them turned on. Oh, oh there we go. There, there we go. go. Perfect. Yeah. So this is her, her left mouse button, and to me, this looks like an, it's an AOE tank. This is something that we haven't really seen. Fernando, he does provide yeah, kinda, AOE. Yeah, kind of, kind of Fernando, yep, yep. But this is totally different. I mean, this is like truly, hitting truly a AOE. That's right. of people. And uh, so she's really ready to take on people in numbers. Oh, yeah. As, a, as a, 1v5. the team clusters on the point, oh, yeah. like, this, this cannon will hit them all. So uh, talk to me about her right mouse button, because this one's exciting, and I want to listen to this, too, when we start this one. Let's rev it up. Mm. Yep, mm. that's right. So this is a uh, kinetic burst. What you're going to do is you're going to prime your next flat, your, your next flak shell to then get super heated and explode right as it comes out of the barrel. As that piston hits it, it's going to do a frontal cone attack that's going to hit for damage and apply a large knockback, as you can see as you're just displacing this poor Lex across the <laughs> key. Um, but yeah, so this is AOE. You can hit a single target. You can hit a whole team. But... You, you mess people up, you move them around, and displace people on the battlefield. And, and this is one of the biggest tools to do that. And this is a tool that is activated at your choice. It's just a simple right click, and then yep. all of a sudden, you could have that type of game-changing play. Now, the Triple truth is, kill. as far as actual um, efficacy in the actual battle, this, is, this can be very valuable for pushing people off of overtime payload contests, uh, oh, pushing gosh, them yes. away from yep. the objective right when you're trying to just capture it, give yourself a team an extra second. Um, and so she seems to be having a lot of displacement here, a different kind than Makoa, but still very, very effective. That's right. She's more in your face. Makoa is more like, hey, come to me. And she's like, I'm bringing the fight to you. So that's a great segue. Uh, into her. Actually, we'll, we'll do her Q first. Okay, um, yeah, let's do that. Yep, so she's a tank. Hallmark of our tanks is shielding. That's right. So her shield okay. is more of a kind of advancing riot shield, and I believe, actually, the cameraman has the legendary he applied. Does. He yes. does. So normally yes. it moves a little bit faster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> normally it moves a little bit faster than that. Um, however, it is a shield that you deploy on the ground and walks forward. Mm. She's not so much about kind of like sitting still in an area, right? She's more about advancing. She's taking the fight to the bat. She's advancing on that point. She's advancing with the payload, um, and her shield embodies that as well. Like a siege weapon yep. would do. It's really like That's taking right. down a, a castle, breaking through the front lines. Yeah, as we kind of mentioned with our theme, you know, it's like, you know, she kind of anchors that kind of unit and anchors the army and stuff, and, and her shield does the same. So if, if you look at the overall size here and think about it in terms of Fernando's shield, uh, this is much wider. It's got like kind of wings kind of off yep. to the side. And so uh, not only, you know, does she have that power for displacement uh, with the number of her abilities, uh, but the shield allows her to kind of not only march in, but actually bring her team in with her. 
That's yep. fantastic. And if you uh, are able to see this at some point, uh, I'd love to show the differing speeds uh, between. Oh, this is the normal speed. This is the normal speed. Yep. So that's kind of that's actually kind of fast. So what's cool about this is that if you really feel like you're going to need to break in quickly to a lot of scenarios and or maybe prioritizing some of the other legendaries, yep. which are really cool, we'll yep. get into that later. Um, or if you feel like, hey, I need to be the only front line for my team. I need to stay <laughs> on the point. I want my shield right next to me all the time. That's right. This you, is the legendary. This version. is the legendary yep. for you. It also gives it uh, some extra health too, which we'll talk about in yep. a second. Uh, but speaking of health you're not going to have any if this girl uh shows up in your face and uh, one of the best ways she can do it garrett seems like her f does something that we saw in the beginning let's talk about shoulder bash evan let's so, talk about it shoulder bash is one of the coolest moves we, we have yet super powerful super impactful and it's extremely badass if we can there we go there's the lex so boom oh god that impact Baby. is so heavy um and that actually was a pretty close range one if we could show one truly displaying the range of the ability as well yeah. um it's Just got a big old wind up on it, but you kind of hunker down, kick to 3P, and then hurl forward as she just charges, charges into the fray. Boom. Now, what I want to show, uh, one of the really amazing things about this as well, is if we could set that, uh, that Lex up as well, and if you charge a kinetic burst, and basically, once you knock that Lex up, shoot him it's the with juggle. your weapon. You want to see the juggle. You, just, I, you, just I, you ask might for be able juggle, to see Evan. something cool. Yes. Oh, he missed. <laughs> uh, but okay. trust me, it, yeah. it is cool. It is cool. And so she basically has two knock-up abilities, which yep. can combo off of each other. You can juggle them in the air with this and really, like, fully displace a target way farther than they would have ever expected yep. in this scenario. All right. Time, time is a little yeah, off. It's, it's you, you, right. gotta, yeah. you gotta check me yeah, out. You we, know, we, I, yeah. I'm, you know, we'll I'm not, you. We'll it's, all right. it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's really cool. And also just from an escape ability, this gives her so much range. Other than, uh, you know, we talk about Makoa, Fernando, they've got dashes. Um, Barrick, he's even got a dash. But this is probably the farthest tank dash, I think, in the game. Yes, and, and the nature is such that you root yourself at the start of it. So if you're extremely brave, you can use it as an escape. You are saying basically, I'm immobile for this entire windup and wow. unprotected. Uh, or with a legendary choice, um, you can say, I'm going to have a high, high amount of damage reduction and also be CC immune. Don't you spoil my legendaries, Garrett. I just spoiled it. Don't you spoil my legendaries. We're not there yet. All right. All right. Let's talk about I'm the ultimate. Everyone wants to see it. Um, this ultimate is pretty good. Oh, let's can just we, say can that we, way. Can we do it, uh, cameraman, from the top balcony onto the point to start? Because yes. I think that would be and do you, uh, perfect. That is great as well. And it has a different effect depending on what legendary you have. That it does. So which effect do you want to see first? Let's, just do, the, let's just do the base. Okay. Let's go. That would be... So her ultimate is called Assert Dominance. She is a frontline character that oh, needs attack. to do just Come that. On, let's fight. Boom. Okay. So Assert Dominance is a very cinematic move. That, there we go. There we go. Get that juggle. There it so, is. She rips the flag off her back, leaps into the air, and then very powerfully plants it in the ground. Uh, when she hits the ground, she does damage and AoE around her, knocks up any enemies in, in the field uh, for a small, small bit, and then while next to that flag, she takes no damage. She is damage immune to that flag. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what you're saying. You said uh, not a lot of damage? I believe I said no damage. No, da wait, so the numbers, Thomas is holding a zero in my face. You mean no damage for like None. a couple seconds? Like eight seconds. Eight seconds? Eight whole so seconds. So four times a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So eight seconds, she's going to jump down here, and no one will be able to damage her, and she can do everything and damage That's everyone correct. else. That's correct. Okay. The caveat is that unlike many of our other ults, she does not have CC immunity here. So <laughs> the counterplay is such that she can be displaced out of her ring. If you have a Makoa, if you have another Ash that can knock back, if you have a Cassie with a disengage. She's very powerful uh, in, in that zone of her flag, but definitely has the opportunities for counterplay. And that is uh, actually one of the interesting things. You talk about other frontliners as well. Makoa, Torvald, yep. to name a few. Two people with yep. basic, very, you know, big parts of their kit can displace her from this ring. That is ring. correct. Yep. Um, and also, I mean, to remember, she doesn't get a damage boost, but her legendaries could give some to her allies. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk uh, about that. We actually seem like we might be close to talking about that okay. right now. Let's just, <laughs> just talk about it. If we could see some of the legendaries, um, that would be great. The Come first on, one that you had mentioned, fight. actually the first one here, Assert Dominance. Rally here allows Fla uh, Ash to stun her enemies when she lands. That's right. And what you don't see is that after stunning any enemies affected, you are also giving your team 
within 100 feet of you a 20% damage increase for three seconds. So how far is kind of, do you have a bit, like an idea of like what's 100 feet? Is it the width of her um, her flag area? Uh, no, it's it's a lot longer. It's than, a lot farther. A lot farther so than a lot of your team flag Yeah, so basically anyone, it, it, the, the idea is that anyone involved in the team fight. This is very much a team-oriented thing. It allows you to very deftly secure your flag area and stun yeah. anyone in it, while also potentially swaying a team fight Beautiful. with this legendary pick. Beautiful. So this could be very influential. It is for a legendary. We've seen those kind of be hit or miss in the esports for Paladins. But, Correct. Uh, this one's pretty strong. Got a great amplification to damage, and also that two-second stun allows you to guarantee two extra hit shots, which is essentially 800 more damage you can add. Or allow follow-up from your teammates. Or follow-up. Or it takes an ult that isn't like a teamfight follow-up ult, yeah. and then turns it into one. Yeah. So yeah. this is a great choice. And your shield with this ult will actually still move very fast. So this is the option that won't change the shield. Correct. The, um, sh the other one that won't change the shield is the uh, dash one, the shield bash one. That's right. Let's talk about this legendary, because you mentioned it before. This is kind of her get out of jail free card. Yeah, or just get into jail. Or get into really jail. Really forcefully card. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, Battery Ram mm -hmm. is the name of this legendary. And what it does, oh, we are crashing. Okay, okay. that's fine. Oh, you can okay. explain it to me here. 